Hey everyone, it's Be Divine from Be Divine Online and DivineMiracles.com and uh, this is a 10 minute video today. We're going to be focusing on our spiritual practices of course, connecting with our truth, our energy, our focus, our forward movement and we're not going to be distracted by anyone's BS, right? This is very important as we move forward. So I'm going to work first with um, some spirit guide cards here and then we'll see who is guiding us oops right now we had Lord Shiva so this is the card of transcendence so rise up honor your inner force just what we were talking about right steps are being given dance with the universe so when Shiva comes around and this kind of energy like this and this kind of focus it is going to um, Pull down these walls that are around you. Maybe people have been sending you um, all of their crap or people constantly do that to you or you're trying to focus yourself on the next part of your journey, right? Maybe you've just been constantly um, blocked from having the things that you want. So Shiva's going to pull down, kind of like the tower, right? Pull down unnecessary structures that are around you if you ask for that and bring you into alignment with where you're supposed to be going because doing readings and having all this is one thing right and this is fun but you shouldn't live your life by readings you've got to listen to the words that i'm saying to you to help change your life vibration right and i've been doing this since 1990 so <laughs> i should know a little thing or two about energy, restructuring, mentoring, therapies, all of these things. And I know what works, okay? Here I am, right? And I know what does not work, where I used to be, okay? So I know you can do it too. So I'm actually going to get another message from this before we move on to the tarot. Who else is working with us? Freya. She's one of my guides as well. Freya cycles and phases there's a beginning within every ending illusions are revealed and released see working along with shiva here what are you sensing within yourself that needs to shift and change what are you sensing within yourself where are you noticing that there are things that are not in alignment with what you're actually trying to do um, how you're trying to flow in your life. Where are you not in alignment with those things? And ask Freya to just blast away because she's tough, right? She is very tough. So she's just going to blast away nonsense, but she's also going to call you out on your own nonsense too. The things that you say, the things that you repeat, the, the words that you use to describe yourself daily, all of these things, right? Freya's saying, okay, well now I got you, I got you, but you've got to be honest with yourself as well, okay? All right, let's go. So if you do need mentoring, help, support, if you do want to really change your life, okay, there's plenty of packages available um, on my website as well, and I'm there to help you, right? We get to talk personally and uh, have all these different sessions on anything it is that you need and whatever I feel you need, Akashic Record readings, Shamanic readings, Soul soul Star readings, whatever it is, right? And uh, clearing as well. Let's go. What does everybody need to hear? I'm using my Dragon Tarot. Seven of Wands. So this is telling me that you've done this enough. Right, that you've been defending yourself enough, that you've been trying enough, right, and you've been frustrated enough. So this is saying use your energy wisely, right? Use your imagination wisely too. Imagine what it is that you would like to see and have an expectation that it's actually happening rather than going, oh, I wish this would happen and I really want that and I've tried to be positive and you don't know what it's like for me. How's that getting you anywhere other than staying in that same cycle of defeat? And you're a stronger person than that, right? So, 
victory is yours, but change your perspective and stop defending yourself and allow yourself to be protected instead. Okay? Know that you are. Every single one of you are worthy. Okay? And then the doors open. The high priest is here. So the energy shifts. What you want to have happen comes in. This is official energy. This is something that is important to you. This is something that you're awakening with. This is something that you're aligning with in your life. You're shifting your viewpoint and your patterns. You're taking charge, right? And as you take charge, don't forget. Um, don't forget others as well. But don't let them just drag all of... Oh, there's a cat coming past the window. How cute. Don't let them drag everything um, away from you. Don't let them drag your focus away, right? The energy here is also of... Focusing on what you're saying, focusing on where you want to go, and don't let anything stop you from doing that. It's like you have all of the support of the universe behind you. Only you can stop this flow, right? Only you can stop what's coming for you, okay? All right, what else do we need to know here? Five of Cups. So in this, there's something that as we release some things we actually really do get kind of like as we as we realize what we've been doing you might have a lot of emotion that also comes up to the surface you might be sad for things that couldn't continue in your life you might be sad that you've trusted this kind of vibration and it, and it didn't work how you wanted it to work with someone or a situation or whatever but remember one good thing that you should say to yourself every day is I want this or something even better and if things are moved out of your way just know that that's because there's even better things coming for you and it means that you're not disappointed having this or something even better you're not disappointed right <laughs> so set things up in your life how you want them to fall and just know that sometimes we are going to feel the things that have happened to us, we're going to feel our past, we're going to feel uh, betrayals, we're going to feel hurt and we have to let it come up and out rather than shoving it back down for another problem another day because your body will just absorb it and all of a sudden you've got issues, right, as well. So you don't want that to happen. Okay, what else do we need to know here? High Priestess. See, see, the High Priestess says, you know what you're doing. You know what you're directing. You know what situations are coming for you and what's leaving and, you know, what's meant to stay. Anything that's po positive in your life, people, places, work, they're meant to stay. But as you get higher in your energy focus and your direction, it's very hard to find others at the moment that are at that are vibrating at that level. But that doesn't mean that they're not out there, okay? And if you continue to maintain your high vibration, that you will bring this into your sphere. Something that you didn't know previously is going to be revealed to you. And this may change your flow again, okay? But intuitively, I think that you already know what this is anyway. Remember that you've got all of the support of the universe once again working with you. And for some of you, you know, you're focused on healing, okay? And this is an increase in that as well. Final message, okay, before I go and make my husband some food. <laughs> okay. Interconnectedness. The two of cups here. Now look at this beautiful big moon, right? You're being closely monitored by your guides and your angels and your ancestors. They are cheering you on right as you move forward as you connect with the right people the right love the right job the right partnership of some kind but also that you're remember remembering that if you are in a relationship there's you there's the other person and there's the relationship itself that needs to be nurtured okay focus on your next phase forward you've got this i'm supporting you all of the way bye for now everyone